Guys, welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So this is the charity shop edition for this week. So what have I picked up? What's going into the collection? What will I maybe shift on? Let's go through what I've picked up now then. Ah, before I do that, guys, thank, thank you for all the support. Thanks for the new subscribers. Thanks for the people that have already subscribed. Please, guys, if you're watching this video for the first time, please subscribe. There's a lot of content that comes out weekly across my channel. Uh, the video you're watching at the moment is a charity shop pickup video and something I've had delivered via the post because I've been going on a few times now about autographs. So we've gone to that a little bit later. But guys, let's get on to what I picked up. So firstly, Nightmare on Elm Street on Blu-ray. So surprised to see this in the charity shop for £1. Uh, this is definitely classic horror. So pick this up. Can't beat good old Freddy Krueger. Guys, the next one I picked up is the mummy trilogy and this is the tin steel case so this is all three movies brilliant movies i absolutely love uh the mummy trilogy i was gutted that i haven't done any more i thought it had a really good storyline to it but yes pick that up for one pound another one for one pound silent hill sealed so this is hey these are hd dvds and this i, I guess this was a, for a drive that come on the xbox uh, as an additional drive point this never took off in my eyes in the UK, but you do find these quite cheaply, either at boot sales, at charity shops, because one, no one either knows what they are or no one knows how you use them. But yes, they were an additional drive that you'd buy to connect to your Xbox. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's English. I'm guessing it's got English titles on there where you can choose, but to me, it looks like it's a European, different European language on there. Uh, not too sure what that is, but yeah, it's sealed, so I picked that up, and I do like Silent Hill, so I picked that up. I've got a few HD DVDs, so what I might end up doing is I won't end up keeping this. I'll mostly end up putting it with the other ones I've got, because I've got like Dawn of the, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Uh, I think I've got like 300, so there's loads of different kind of genres I've got of this, and I will just put them all together and shift those as a, a bulk lot. Uh, did find for Xbox... Oh, what is this? So this is episode three, uh, Star Wars. I I think I might have this already, but at the time, because it is only a pound. When I was in the charity shop, I was like, do I just take the risk and see, like, pick it up? It's an Xbox, original Xbox game as well, so I picked that up for one pound. So I was happy with that. Did pick up Guitar Hero, yeah, Legends of Rock free, and I don't have this in my collection. And the only reason I picked this up is because, guys, you would have seen on my boot sale video. From Sunday, I picked up the actual guitar for three pounds, boxed. So if I don't keep that or I end up selling that on, I want to sell it on with a couple of the Guitar Hero, so it makes it a little bit more desirable than what you currently see on eBay or Amazon at the moment. Uh, then I've started to have a little bit of a dive through the DVDs now a bit more instead of just the games and the CDs and the books. Because uh, at the moment, because guys, you would have seen on my videos, I'm doing so well on games out of charity shops at the moment that I've taken kind of a backseater on your DVDs, CDs and books. As stock starts to come down or people are not bringing as much to the charity shop or I'm just having a bad week, I will just dip into all these different little areas that I kind of collect or buy into. So CDs... I collect movie soundtracks, be it LPs or CDs or cassettes. They had Boys in the Hood, 20p all day. Pick that up. That definitely coming home and that's staying in my collection. Picked up this season two. This was £1. They had it in the DVD section uh, and all DVDs are £1. So I picked this up. Uh, I think it's a series that's either on Netflix or YouTube. Uh, bit stiff as well and i don't know how new it is but all four discs are in there season two the only reason i picked this up is it has i know for a fact these have good sell-on value i did check it in cex and i think i want to say it's about 10 10 or 15 quid uh so i picked that up and then the other box set which was two pound in there and guys this is heavy is get smart the complete series so i'm i'm assuming this is from the 70s 70s 80s uh the whole series on there Again, the only reason I picked this up was the trading from CEX. I believe, I, I think CEX sell it for 35 and I think the trading was like 22 if you wanted to take a voucher. So, yep, guys, all day, pick that up. That would be traded in or see how much it gets online. And then the other one as well, hasn't got the slip case. I know it's quite desirable and it goes for £35 in CEX. I might see how I get on with it online because uh, it doesn't have the slip case that it comes in. Or the little booklet is Live Aid. So this is a four-disc special of 
Live Aid. So all your Live Aids there. Uh, yeah, the day the music changed the world, 1985. So for this, so I'm happy with that, and I think there should be some value in that, either on eBay or however I choose to get rid of that. So happy with that. And then, guys, you you definitely know that I collect Goosebump books. Brings me back to my childhood. So yeah, I need literally about 10 Goosebump books now to complete my uh, collection. These are like the one-off special ones, and I think there's about four of these, which uh, give yourself goosebumps. And it's uh, you choose. So I think this is where you choose choose from over 20 scary endings. Yes, yeah, so you choose. It might be like one of these ones. Yeah, you choose what page you go on to. So again, I love these as I was a kid. Uh, definitely picked that up because I need that because I'm going to collect that collection. But guys, back to the ones I need. So I needed uh, issue 54 and 43, which was the Beast from the East. And don't go to sleep. They were 50p each. I'm always going to pick up the Goosebump books. And guys, I will maybe uh, the next kind of charity shop pickup I do where I pick up some Goosebump books. I'll show you guys the collection of Goosebump books I got in a moment and what they look like and which ones they are. Just to bring back some memories. And then guys, the last book I picked up was... So I've said this to you guys before. I always go through the autobiographies. I always go through any sports books where it's to do with the whole team's player by player. Uh, so I picked up this Spurs, Tottenham Hotspurs, book player by player. I looked straight away in the first couple of pages to see if it's signed, because I know for a fact, and I've done this with a similar book, a similar Spurs book and a similar Chelsea book. Uh, I've picked up one of these player by players, and I've gone, gone and got it signed by quite a few of the players. So I knew straight away I wasn't necessarily going to see anything on the first couple of pages. So... It's always good, especially the sports books as well, autobiographies. Check the first couple of pages, but then start going into the pictures of the players because a lot of collectors would have got the pictures signed. So, guys, I just flicked through a couple of pages. Uh, you're not going to get anything signed from the 20s, let's be fair. So I started going up to, oh, look, now I've got a look. So I started going to the 70s. And, guys, I haven't checked all these. Uh, oh, there's another one there, actually. So... There's multiple players signed in here. Uh, is that one? Nope. So you've got here Cliff Jones signed. And they are signed to Dylan. But I'm not too fussed about that because if it was one player, I would have mostly left it. There are quite a few players in here. So this person's gone around, and I know a lot of people do this. They've gone around to a lot of the signings and just got a lot of the ex players to sign. Uh, you got another one here, and my Spurs knowledge, guys, isn't the best. But in terms of what I'm looking for, autograph wise, I can do a bit of research. Martin Greaves, do, do, do. so yeah, and I know, yeah, got so that's two guys. Look, there's another one here, Pat Jennings, another one here, Martin Peters. There's just another one I saw. John Pratt. Here you go, Ralph Coates. Yeah, this this the person who owned this book just must have gone through collecting. And he hasn't gone for any of the smaller play well, he hasn't gone for any of the smaller players. He's gone for the big players, two spreads on them, nice glossy pictures. Uh yeah. And just got multiple player signs. So guys, I haven't been through the whole book yet. But looking at that, I think I've already seen five players signed in here. So yeah, I oh here's enough one. Paul Allen. Yeah, so there's loads There's loads signed in here. I've got Linnickers already. I've got a few Linnickers, so that's fine. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, this, this to me, guys, would have been a Tottenham Hotspurs fan who's gone around to either sign-ins, catching with the players where, where he's met them, and just getting the book signed. But, yeah, I need to check some of the newer pictures, but I haven't checked any yet, but... Yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, guys, I'm not even going to sell this on. I'll tell you what the story about this. So I've got a friend at work who's been a Tottenham Hotspurs fan since his early ages. I think his dad used to bring him to, to games. His granddad used to bring him to games. And he collects everything Tottenham book-related autographs. So I know it says Dylan, but I've offered this to him for nothing. I don't want no money for it. I've only paid a pound for it. Because uh, for him, I know he will take great pleasure in joining looking after this and having this in his collection. So for that point, it'll be free if he wants it. I haven't told him it's signed yet. I've just told him that there is a 
Tottenham book that I've picked up and I think you may be interested and I'll see what his appetite is when he comes back. And then guys, finally, in terms of mail away, so you would have seen that I've been banging on about London Film and Comic Con. So they can't do any conventions this year. They are doing auction, live auctions or live claim sessions, as you call it. So the first five people to claim gets the autograph for £20 on loads of autographs. They are literally clearing their warehouse and backstock. So I was able to pick up Winston from the Ghostbusters, £20. The reason I picked up this Winston signed, and I know he does a lot of signings, is because of the picture, the cast. So I love that photo, and when it's framed, it'll look even better. And then, guys, one of my all-time favourite movies. And, guys, all of these comes with a CEO and a uh, hologram sticker on the inside of the photos. And then my other one, which I wasn't expecting to see there. I'm a huge Last of the Starfighters fan. Uh, love the movie. I know it's always talked about being remade. Uh, but, yes, Alex from Last of the Starfighters. So Lance, I got that signed. And again, that was £20. I'm so happy with that. That will go straight into a frame because uh, I've got their original movie poster for Ghostbusters and for Last of the Starfighters. So again, really happy with that. The next kind of autographs, guys, I've got my eyes on. So still Back to the Future and I'm working to make that happen. Uh, due to the Cobra Kai, there's a lot of Karate Kid signings at the moment. So I'm waiting for the Scottish... Uh, Comic-Con, which they do, they go for a company called Monopoly, I believe, Monopoly Signings. And they, they've they got a lot of signings in place over the next couple of weeks, months, with various stars. One of them is the Karate Kid cast in terms of with the Cobra Kai. Uh, so I'm looking to get Johnny and obviously Daniel signed on a photo together. And I'll wait to see what they come back with in terms of images and what it looks like. The one that I am going to order from though, so guys, you would have seen that I've got the original cast from It the Clown, so the 90s version, the TV movie. I've got the kids signed on terms of a photo, and I need Tim Curry. He's actually doing a signing with them at the end, at the beginning or end of October. So I'm all over that. Uh, I've got the image chose that I'm going to use, and it's the classic It the Clown coming out, the shower scene. Uh, so yeah, 100% getting that signed, and then that would pretty much complete that It the clown movie kind of signatures so I'll, I'll get a nice image or poster to go with that and get that framed up uh, and then the other one that i've got completed now is fright night so from the 80s 90s no 80s isn't it yeah 80s so fright night uh, so i went through tom holland who's the director for that on inst on facebook actually a few years ago and he sold me a whole cast signed photo of the whole cast out of fright night uh, I was really, really happy with that. He only wanted at the time, so I remember paying, I think, £60, uh, which isn't a lot of money, but that's what he wanted. He he had a pile of about 90 of them, which had been signed, and I think he had about 10 or 15 left when I brought it a few years ago. So I'm looking to get that framed up as well with a Fright Night poster. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it there because I could just bore you guys with all this kind of pop culture talk going in and out of the different trends. Uh but yeah, guys, that's it from the charity shops and kind of mailing pieces for this week. Uh, happy with what I've got. I'm really happy with the Goosebump books because I'm collecting those. So that's my favourite for this week. My friend will definitely be ecstatic with the Tottenham Hotspurs book, but I'm waiting for him to come back. Uh, and if he does, he can have that. That's for him. Uh, so yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this little pickup session from the charity shop, Mailaways uh and then, yeah look forward to seeing you all next week where i will have some more boot fair footage and guys everyone keeps saying about the and i've mentioned it in my last video about me going through some of the tubs of toys and just doing a video so i am going to do that as we go into the winter there will be some weeks where there'll be no boot sales i still have some charity shop pickups but i will start delving into some of the tubs of toys or some of the display cabinets of toys as well because they go about five deep and they're not the same toys. They're all different toys behind uh, from the 90s and 80s and early 2000s. So we will go through that. So yeah, guys, look forward to those videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like any feedback, any thoughts. Put them in the comments below. I will always come back to you guys. Have a lovely week.